Okay, hey guys. So today I'm going to be taking a look at ZUP3. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos on ZUP1 and ZUP2, you should probably check them out. But this is a physics-based puzzle game with a shit ton of achievements. Okay, there is so many achievements in this game. Um, I can just show you real quick. Actually, let me uh, change my screen so you guys see my desktop instead of the game so you can see all the achievements that pop up. Uh, but let me just show you this page here. It says that this game has 1,708 achievements. 1,708 achievements in one freaking game. That is ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure you can get all the achievements in around 30 minutes. Um, but as you can see, if I scroll down here, open level A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seven achievements for opening a level and i think you get seven achievements or wait maybe not seven one two three four five six yeah seven achievements for completing the level so basically you get seven achievements for starting a level and seven achievements for finishing the level <laughs> um on every level so that is kind of insane and a little bit retarded in my opinion but oh well it's fun so let's go ahead and play some zup I think you get an achievement for clicking on this. Oh, I got three achievements. Click on anything. Yeah. Let's see if I can't get any more achievements. Click on this, click on this. Yeah, more achievements. Hooray. Uh, let's go ahead and click on this. Um, more achievements. It's just gonna keep popping up achievements. Oh, you guys can't see it because it's popping up in the top right corner. Let me see if I can't adjust my like webcam here. There we go. I don't know why it's popping up in the top right corner. Usually it pops up in the bottom right corner. But uh, yeah, you can see achievements popping up in the top right corner. And uh, yeah, there's just crazy amounts of achievements. Let's go ahead and go back here and let's uh, start the game. So I just unlocked seven achievements. So let's just wait a couple seconds just so it'll show all of them. It shows three at a time. So it's going to be kind of slow and it'll probably be a little bit laggy when we start playing um, quickly. Uh, so there, seven achievements just for opening up one level. And this looks very similar to Zup2 with the blue ball on top. And I just got achievements for clicking whatever that M thing was. I don't know what that was. Uh, I wonder if we get achievements for this. Nope. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All we have to do is get this blue ball onto this green platform. And I failed. <laughs> I think I failed because it moved a little bit. Yeah, it moved from the center, so there was no way I could have completed it last time, but there's the end of level 1. Um, so I guess ZUP3 isn't very different from ZUP2. ZUP1, you had a blue square. ZUP2, you had a blue circle. Um, I was expecting ZUP3 to have like a blue triangle or something like that, but I guess they went with the sphere just because uh, ZUP2 is pretty fun, I have to admit. So yeah, achievements are just going to keep popping up in the top right corner of my screen for the remainder of the video. <laughs> oh crap. How did, how did that fail? Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. It's going so slowly. There we go. And... Got it. <laughs> as long as it stays on the green platform for a couple seconds, the door will open. And as long as you click on the door before the ball falls off the edge, you will complete the stage. And like with the previous Zup games, these games are, I mean, all of the Zup games are very easy, in my opinion anyway. It's all just trial and error. Typically, you can like figure it out on your first or second try. Sometimes it takes a couple tries, but uh, for the most part, it's relatively easy. So that one I messed up. Nope. Let's try the top. Nope. I don't know how to do this one, actually. There we go. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> second explosive. And I guess if you haven't seen my previous videos, what's going on here is um, the red blocks are explosives, and you click the red blocks to blow up like the yellow blocks to knock the blue sphere onto the green platform. It's pretty much how it works on every level. Some levels are a little different, uh, for, but for the most part, that's pretty much the way it goes. Um, and you have to get the blue sphere onto the green platform. If it's above the, the green platform or if it's on top of anything, then it doesn't count. 
like right here, it's not on, <coughs> hasn't fallen to the green platform, so it doesn't count. So we're gonna restart there, and we're going to uh, try again. There we go, perfect. Whoa, this one's kind of crazy. No, that didn't work. That might work. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> A lot of puzzles are like that, where it's kind of crazy and you wouldn't expect it to work, but it does. Alright, I have to click the top one. There we go. I'd love to watch someone do a speed run of these games. I really think a game like this should be at SGDQ, just because uh, <laughs> it'd be really fun to watch. Um, especially getting all these achievements constantly. Oh, man. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> oh, crap. What the heck was that? Oh, that was bullshit. All right. That should work. It might be skipping through achievements. I don't know if it's going through all of them or not, but it just keeps going and going. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome getting three achievements, like, every second. I mean, a lot of these puzzles really don't even have any thought to them. You're kind of just clicking on them. But this one, okay, this one, you actually have to do things. No, okay. I'm not even sure how to do this. I think you have to jump down here and then boost up here. Okay, I got it. So this one is a little bit more tricky because you have to actually time it. There we go, got it. <laughs> And that's what made Zup 2 interesting, is because there was a lot of these where you actually have to time the explosions in order to get the ball across. Kind of reminds me a lot of, like, Putt-Putt. Uh, I don't know why. It's sort of like mini-golf. Oh crap. Try again. Like, 2D mini-golf. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but for some reason this game reminds me of, like, mini-golf. There we go. I mean, the first levels didn't, but things like this. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, starting to go through this game pretty quickly. Oh, wait. You know what? On that last level... This. I forgot to click on that. I wonder if I missed any others. Did I miss any others? Hopefully I didn't. Uh, every time I see, like, a weird symbol, I need to click on it to get some achievements. Alright, here's the next level. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, first try. Wait, what's this? I probably get achievements for blowing that up. Um, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you get achievements for just the most random of stuff. Like, one time there was, like, a Valve logo, like a, I mean, not a Valve logo, like a, a Half-Life uh, logo, like, symbol, and you clicked on it, and then I got a bunch of, like, Gabe Newell achievements, and I was just like, what the heck? Uh, okay, that was a failure. Failure. Got it. Not entirely sure what's happening. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't entirely sure how to get that block upwards, but I guess that worked. Okay, I think I have to wait for it to come back down, and then I have to blow it across. Like that. There we go. Sweet. So, yeah, it's just a fun little um, puzzle game. It's very minimalistic. Uh minimalist very simple very short very casual but it's enjoyable there's another symbol that i just clicked on uh-oh all right there we go and for me personally like i'm not a big fan of puzzle games usually just because um 
just because some are extremely challenging. But games like this, I really enjoy. Just because they make you feel like you're kind of smart when you're really not. And physics games, I don't know. I don't know. I think everyone loves physics games. Uh, I, I've never met anyone who doesn't like physics-based games. They're just really fun and enjoyable. Oh crap, what the heck? Shoot. Messed that one up. I guess I'm supposed to blow that up faster? No, wait, there we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it didn't have enough, the ball didn't have enough momentum the first time around, I'm not sure why. I guess that's the cool thing about physics games is that you don't really know what's gonna happen. Crap. I need to do this third one. Ah. There we go. <gasps> Damn it. No. I think if we do that one more time, it should work. Crap. I have the timer rate. Right? Ah, oh, man. I'm like, I'm always clicking a little bit too early. There we go. Oh, and we're still getting achievements. Like, crap tons of achievements. It's ridiculous. Probably get achievements for blowing that up. Every time there's like a random structure on the map, usually you get achievements for it. I don't know what is going on with this level. There's so many explosives all over the place, but you don't need to blow all that up. I mean, I don't understand why you'd want to do that. <laughs> there's another symbol. Let's see. Yeah, I did get an achievement for blowing that thing up. I got like two dots. Anyways. <laughs> um... Nope. Oh, I see. Clever. <gasps> Dang it. <laughs> okay, I have to do this one. Oh, no, I have to do the top one. It's all trial and error, every single level. I think if I click this one, it'll work. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Got it. Yes. <laughs> that was close, but I got it. I don't know why I did that. I don't even think I need to do that. Ah, oh, maybe I do. Sweet, it worked. <laughs> a lot of times you wouldn't even think it would work, but it does. I'm pretty sure like the developer just spent a lot of time making sure like if you click this one, like, the ball, the square will go into a certain place that you need it to go into. Uh, I'm gonna do the square. There we go, and then that should work perfectly. And that's it. What is this? <laughs> Is that just for fun? I don't know. There's just like random explosives sometimes on some levels. Crap. Oh, it worked. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but cool. A helicopter. Hello, helicopter. Oops. Fail. Fail. Oh, crap. Okay, so I have to blow that over that way, and then I need to do this again. Oops. Okay, so blow this over this way. This square. Can blow that up. Doesn't matter. And then I need to launch this across. Hopefully it'll get there. Should be good? Yes. Got it. Uh, if the ball would have landed outside the screen, it would have restarted the level automatically, so I had to click that door extremely fast, but got it. It worked. Oh, okay, so... Oh, 
Wow. That cube goes right into position. Dang it. Okay. How did I do that before? It hit off there, and then it goes down. Is this the right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Took me a while, but I got it. Uh, what is going on here? Nope. No. Okay, that works. Got it. Alright, so with any luck, this should work. I just have to slowly watch this ball go across. But yeah, that's uh, I don't even know what level we're on. I guess we should check the level list after this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So here is the level list. I guess we're about halfway through the game. Uh, Zup 3 seems to have more levels than Zup 2 and Zup 1. Wow. Wasn't expecting there to be so many levels. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. But yeah, I guess we'll be playing this game for a little while. Some levels are really easy. Well, I mean, in Zup 2 and Zup 3, the progression was kind of strange. Because some levels are, like, really easy and very short. And some levels actually take a little bit of time. There's also going to be a Zup 4 coming out soon. I have no idea when, but soon. Don't know what to do here. This is a uh, this is one of those puzzles I just don't understand. Oh, okay. That's how you do it. Got it. <laughs> and that was a tricky one. But yeah, I'm pretty determined to beat this game. This may be like a two-part series, so I'm just let, letting you know. It might be a two-part episode. <laughs> wow. That was lucky. That was crazy luck right there. Oh, it's, you, I'm gonna get achievement for doing that. Um, let's see. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna have to blow this square up. Nope. Yes. Yes, got it. Perfect. Yeah, all these achieve. I mean, all these uh, levels are pr pretty like straightforward. Yep, that was an easy one. See, some levels are really easy. And other levels like they take a few tries. I'm sure I'll get stumped on at least one. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Uh, what is going on up here? Was I supposed to do that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, crap. Wait, what? I think the ball's gonna stop. I'm supposed to launch this across. No. Maybe. Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that works all the time. Alright, that should be enough momentum to go all the way across and then victory. Alright, moving forward. 
I mean, it did say, it did show that I had a lot of levels to go, but these levels are pretty short, so it's not like it's gonna take all day. There we go. As long as I could keep completing these levels on like a decent pace, like maybe like two minutes per level or less. Hopefully like one minute per level. Well, actually it should be more like 30 seconds per level. <laughs> All right, there we go. Do do do. Okay, this one's easy. I've done this one before on things up too. Got it. All right, I need to wait for it. To, oh, this one. Pretty sure this one you have to like time this right, which can be tricky. Damn, I missed it. Like, I knew what I had to do, but I don't know. This one's gonna be kind of tough, because I'm not that great, damn it, with, with timing puzzles. I'm just, I don't know. I always, like, I always go too soon or too late. There we go. Perfect. This one's kind of fun. Oh, crap. Failed. I have like a stuffy nose. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Okay. Got it. Achievement unlocked. Some of these achievements are so weird looking. Um, okay. Uh, is that what I was supposed to do? No. <laughs> wow, okay, got it. <laughs> Sometimes I just get super lucky. Uh, that was just all luck. Oh wait, okay, this is easy. I just messed up. Crap. I'm telling you this is pretty easy, but I keep screwing up here. Oh There we go. Got it. I like simple ones like that that don't require too much thinking. I'm pretty sure this one is pretty easy too. Yep. Got it. Another thing I really like about this game, and I know it may sound kind of strange. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. It may sound kind of strange, but I like that this game doesn't get harder as it goes through. I mean, it does get a little bit more complicated but the game doesn't get harder. Like some puzzle games, um, as you play through them, they get harder and harder and harder until you reach a point that you can't surpass or it just takes way too long to complete the puzzles. This game, it like combines like short, easy levels with with a, a little bit more complex levels and it kind of alternates between the two. Um, and I like that. I mean, the game starts off really easy, but uh, it doesn't ever get too challenging. That's what I'm trying to say. It never gets too hard. Which I think is great. Um, when puzzle games get too hard, that's when I usually stop playing them. And they stop becoming enjoyable. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way about puzzle games. But I certainly don't like to be overly challenged. I like to be casual. I like to enjoy myself. Okay, that was bad. I don't understand what, I'm, what we're doing here. I think I'm supposed to knock that back first. And then it drops down here, and it goes, whoops. I am so confused. Oh, that's how you do it? <laughs> I, I did not expect that. Hard achievement. 
Oh, whoa, this puzzle. What the heck? Okay. Nope. Okay, I see. I don't know what all these other random blocks are doing. Oh, this one will stop it. Oh, no, it just fell off the edge. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, I was a little bit too late again. There we go. Got it. Oh, I didn't click it in time. I would have had it, but I didn't click it in time. All right. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, got it. Oh, dang it. Didn't work that time. Uh, I think I'm supposed to like knock them. So it's like knock this block somewhere. There we go. And it's supposed to stop. Okay, there we go. it's supposed to stop the blue sphere from going off the edge. Oh crap, I did it again. Got it. Alright, that time I did it the correct way. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not understanding. I don't get this at all. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like wondering like what I'm doing wrong. Why? Some reason it's not working the way I think it's supposed to. Unless I'm supposed to blow up this explosive while the block falls now. Uh oh. It's not good. Do you guys understand this puzzle? I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Is there any more blocks I can explode? I don't think so. Oh, I can delete the I can delete the white blocks. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so I need to pull this over. Oops. Maybe not. Maybe pull that one over. There we go. Okay, so I just need to like delete these two. Oh crap. Maybe maybe like these two instead. Nope. Okay, maybe these two. Uh, I did I do it? It gave me the achievement for doing it, but I guess it reset. All right, it should work now. Boom boom. All right, I got it. Finally, <laughs> that took forever. See, some puzzles take me a while, and then other puzzles are really short, like this one. Like, look how short that was. That was like a couple seconds. Wait, it didn't go in the hole. What the heck? I'm pretty sure that was the right way to do this puzzle, but it didn't go in the hole. Unless I'm supposed to do something down here. No, no way. Let me see if any of these other blocks work. Okay, that one works. It doesn't drop in the hole. What's wrong with this game? <laughs> yeah, it has to be this one. Oh! Oh! 
supposed to do this. I keep forgetting about these white blocks. All right, that should be good, finally. The white blocks are new. They weren't in Zup 2 or Zup 1. Oh man, I guess, I guess not, hold on. Nope. Okay, that should be good. And then, there we go. Success. <laughs> that one took a while too. I need to remember that you can delete the white blocks. I, The white blocks are like a new mechanic. I haven't seen that in the other Zup games. So, that's why it was throwing me off. Crap. Pretty sure that was the right way to do it, but I got blocked. <gasps> Are you kidding? It went a little bit too high. This game is getting uh, too hard for me. <laughs> Crap. Oh, I went a little bit too high again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Alright, I finally stopped getting achievements. Crap. Alright, there we go, finally. <laughs> that one took longer than it should have. Okay, what is going on here? There's two blocks. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> that was a lot of explosions. I wonder if you need both spheres or if you can just use one. You need both. Okay. There we go. So that's another new like feature of Zup3, having to do two balls at once. That's the one. I got that one. And got that one. What is going on here? There's only one explosion, so I can't really do anything else, so we just have to watch it. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's see what level we're on. We are about to... Oh, wow. We're almost on the last row, so about, I don't know, 12 more levels to go. Oops. Oops. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I see. I see the solution. Okay, oh crap. I keep I keep uh, blowing that thing up too early. The second ball doesn't have enough momentum, so I have to, like, boost the boss. Oh, wait, I thought the first ball would... What? There we go. <laughs> Whatever. It worked. It worked. Okay. What the heck is this? I think I failed it already. Whoa. Okay, so you don't have to get on both green blocks. I thought you had to have one ball on one 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 of the uh the rectangles, the goal areas and one ball on the other, but apparently you only have to have one. Alright, that one seems super easy. Well, crap, it didn't work. A 
Okay, that didn't work either. Hmm. I'm trying to knock these squares out of here. Okay, that should work. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh... Okay, that one was super short and easy. Nice. Some more white blocks here. I don't understand the point of this, but we deleted them. Okay, I got it. So... Another easy puzzle. Success, getting close to the end. I don't know what that was about. Probably need that. All right, got it. Another, this one's super freaking easy. Like that was so easy. <laughs> that was like ridiculous. Oh, I'm supposed to drop this down. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if that'll work or not. Yeah, that just, I need to somehow get this yellow cube over here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So we're on like the last stretch. I'm pretty sure we only have like eight or seven more levels to go. Uh, this one seems easy too. Ah, uh, this one's luck based. Well, timing based, I guess I should say. So I have to time it. Got it. <laughs> that was luck. Okay, that was pure luck. I, I'm sorry. No skill. I suck. She's been unlocked. That one was super easy. Crap. I need the. I know I need the those to fall down. At least one. Okay. Ah. Shoot. All right, that should be plenty. All right. Okay, that should be good. We did it. Victory. I like the puzzles that don't require a whole lot of thinking. I don't really know what's going on here. I guess we can delete all these white blocks. Unless we needed one. No. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, the thing is, the ball starts rolling the moment you click the, this square here. It starts rolling to the left, and I can't let it roll to the left. I'm just gonna have to be fast. There we go. I just had to do that one fast, because if I gave it too much time, it would start rolling to the left, and then I would fail it. Okay, this looks like another super easy one. A slow one, though. We have to wait for it to pass. If I fail this uh, thing down here, it's going to be very, very slow to do it again. 
Uh, but it should be pretty easy. Probably on our last, like, six levels, maybe five. <gasps> Crap, I failed it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I failed, I failed. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. I just woke up, like, an hour ago. <laughs> Always takes me a long time to wake up. Especially playing like a game like this. Okay, so I need to figure out what's the best way to do this. Man, yeah, this would be to hit this block, but I just don't know when. I think I'm gonna wait until the ball goes right here and then I'll hit this one. It's gonna suck if we're stuck on this level for like 10 minutes. Cause it's so slow, come on ball. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer. Ah, uh, I see. I should wait until it gets to the very edge, like right here, and then I should launch it. I haven't got any achievements in a long time. I'm missing out. <gasps> that was close. That was so close. I don't know if I should do it when it gets all the way to the edge, or if I should do it like right here. This is all like, uh, this is all luck, all based on timing, I don't know when. It's either here, or like at the very edge. I think it would be better if I do it at the very edge, but I don't know. Got it, finally. I'm really glad we got it, because that could have taken all day. I got an achievement called female, what the heck? Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, it goes up and then out. Okay. Victory! That was it! We beat the game! Hooray! We beat the game! Finally. Okay. So, um, we did it. I think we completed everything. So let me just go on to this little web page. I have 1666, 1666 <laughs> kind of funny, out of 1708. So I'm missing like 40 achievements. What am I missing? Click on question mark. The heck is this crap? Are these symbols I missed? I think I might have missed some symbols somewhere. So, question mark on the main menu. Let's find that. Hmm. Maybe we can tell by the level select screen? Let me see. So we're currently missing, wait, where's my little thing? Okay, so we're missing 28 achievements and it's just a couple. Hmm, oh wait, maybe. No. I feel like it would be on one of these like last few stages. I don't see the symbol. Crap. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get these last few achievements. I could check the forums the community forums and see if I can't get any answers there uh, or I'll have to go through every stage again looking through for the symbols yeah it looks like I just missed it somewhere crap okay so I'm sorry guys, but we're gonna have to go through the entire game again and figure out where the hell... Oh wait, 
Hold on. Level F. Okay, I found out from the forums it's level F. So level F, we missed this one somehow. And okay, so we're missing one more. The last one is a circle. Oh, there's okay. Level L. I don't know why I missed these. <laughs> so level F and level L. Level L. I guess I just forgot to click on them. <laughs> Not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, we got all the achievements. Hooray. Let's look at the uh, um, the thing again. Make sure we got all of them. Hooray. All achievements unlocked. So now I can safely say that I completed ZUP3 and I got 17 or 1,708 achievements. Um, and I mastered the game and just to quickly go through if I go to my profile You can scroll down and there's an achievement showcase somewhere right here, and it says I have 13 perfect games um, Let me just reload that one more time. Yeah, okay, so 13 perfect games and ZUP3 should be uh, in that perfect game category Also, if I scroll down here, you can see 1708 1708 out of 1708 game has been mastered so yeah thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this video or maybe it's a two-part video i don't know but uh yeah great great little experience um i enjoyed it it's fun it was a fun little casual experience especially something to play like right when i wake up <laughs> get my mind going um but yeah, I enjoyed it. Zup is a really good little series. Zup one, Zup two, Zup three. You can you can get these games for like fifty cents when they go on sale. So just watch out for a sale, and you can pick these games up on Steam for a pretty cheap cost. But I'll link the game to the description. Um, if you want to check it out, it'll be in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.